Hi everyone, David Maley here. Today I'm going to show you some really cool stuff. We're going to do some DAX programming, simple stuff, nested if statements in Power BI. So if you look right here, let's get straight into it. I have reason codes right here, right? Duplicate cases, employee complaint, invalid coupon, price issue, product out of stock, right? Those are the ones currently they could grow and become other things. This is data for a company that has, you know, they're tracking their consumer complaints and what goes on and what pricing issues, things like that. So we know what these are, right? So I want to be able to rank things by priority, right? So I want to be able to prioritize these, but not just necessarily just by their rank. So I want their priority. And what I want to do, I'm going to show you right here. I've already built this, but I want to have, if it's an employee complaint, that it's rank or priority number one. If it is a product out of stock or an invalid coupon, it's priority number two, and everything else is priority number three. Because the employee complaints are serious, we need to get those taken care of immediately and identify those and stop them in their tracks. Second thing is the next most important is product out of stock and invalid coupon because people can't buy or won't buy based on those things. You know, obviously if the product's out of stock, they can't buy what they wanted to buy. We don't want that to happen. So we want to be able to identify those, tell a category, hey, look, you need to get more of these in stock. We need to do something about re uh, figuring out our uh, stocking algorithms or whatever it is and get you know more items in stock in the stores. Um, and the th number three would be you know things that are less important. So what we're doing right here is this. And what you do to start this is you first create, you go right here to your sheet that you want to put this in and put new column. Make sure you're in the correct sheet. If you put in the wrong sheet, it'll put that uh, calculated new calculate column in the wrong sheet. Okay, so you want to add it to the right sheet. So you hit new column, it'll come up saying column equals and the rest is blank. So what we want to do is then we want to change the name so you know what it is other than column. Column's not very telling of what it is. You rename it like priority, like I did here, priority equals. And then what we do is you start with this, if. And then you've got your, just, it's just like in Excel, it's basically almost the exact same calculation. If sheet one, reason code, equals employee complaint, and make sure it's spelled exactly the same way, see that is your data, then one. If parentheses sheet one reason code equals product out of stock, or, uh, and that's what this is right here, this is or, if I wanted and, I would go and delete this and put two ampersands, okay? I don't want and because then that condition doesn't occur. It's not one, it's not inclusive of the other. So what I need to do is put this. These two lines like that is or in Power BI, okay? So or, if it becomes invalid coupon, then it's a two, everything else is a three. So when I get done with that, I click this. See how it's not red here? There's no, or there's no error underneath it showing. So I click the commit button right here. It's committed. Then I com then I do the close button. And sometimes it doesn't always close out. That's fine. But we know it's there. It's right here. And there we go. We've got that in there, right? And by doing that, what I can do now is I can go and create graphs based on that. You see right here, I put priority, case ID, and week number in here. And what's neat is now that I've done that, I now not only just have them ranked like I did from a previous video, but I also have them by priority. And I can go and track the higher priority and the lower priority items as they occur weekly. So like I've got week number, right? So I can quickly make a graph like this. This is a uh, show you right here, stack column chart. And the axis, which is here, is week number. The legend, which is right here, is the priority, which we just created, right? And the value is by case ID um, or count. That's basically what it's doing there. So if you go up here, click here, see it's count. So when you look at this, it's telling me that I had the most important things, a little blip here and here, but they've been taken care of because they don't repeat themselves. I have a growing number of lower rank priorities, priority three, and a little growth in priority two here that I needed to address. But we obviously addressed the priority one thing. So you can also see right here, based upon uh, a pie chart, as to the breakdown of priority one, two, and three. Obviously, most of what we're dealing with is priority three. It's good. A little bit of priority two and a very small amount of priority ones. So that's good to be able to identify those and break those out. That's why you want to do these nested if statements in Power BI. That's how you do them. So again, here's my data. Right for reason code. You can also look at it here. You can also put a table in, but that's what this is. So if I click here, just to show you how I did this, see right here, table. 
okay so I created a table of my data right and then I've got once I've done that I have created by hitting this right here new column not new measure okay new column you get this right where it'll show column equals and then I made it priority so let's just walk you through this so instead if I were to do this rename it let's say priority two right equals now we know we need an if right so I'm just gonna walk you through this real quick we're gonna do it just like we did before oops it might help if I spelled that correctly and so if and then remember what's this thing called it's called reason codes right so I need oops, reason codes right I hope I spell it correctly today I'm not spelling correctly it'll show up just like this right I'll show you so it's got at all you don't have to write sheet one reason code just click on this you do not click over here. it takes you out of the the DAX and then I want to hit comma right well actually no I don't want to. I want it equals let's say uh, uh, what was it employee complaint right so that's what we did employee need to spell today uh, complaint and then we've got what you don't put the press here remember that you put the comma we did one comma if then we did the same thing reason code right here it is right there equals remember so now we did uh, what did we do we did product out of stock or uh, invalid coupon so you could say invalid coupon coupon equals what we or no equals invalid coupon backspace and then we did or right just like this or reason code equals just like this so we click this equals what was the other one we did uh, product out of stock product make sure you have everything capitalized the same way out of stock let's make sure it's correct oops so we got a space missing there then we do that I didn't click that okay so then we go from there right so we've got the or this comma two right then we've got comma three that's what we did and then at the end you do one two of those see how there's no red bars or anything wrong there then you click this it gets added in there it is right there you can click the X sometimes the X doesn't work for me that's fine click here off it's right there it's in there there's no errors with it and then you could do the same thing and show it that's exactly what we did here and then again, all I, this is a pie chart right here and this one here is your typical stack column chart bar chart we're gonna call it and uh, this is just a table so it shows you exactly how to do it here it is again showing you it doesn't matter which one I do they're both the exact same code um, one's just priority two, one's priority. But regardless, it shows you how to do nested ifs, and I could keep going and replace this three with the next one. I could say if it equals duplicate cases three, and then anything else four first. That way, anything new would then be identified as a four. That might be you know something good to have to do that. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Power BI is a great tool to use to quickly visualize um, all kinds of data quickly, whether it be direct connected through SQL. Azure, um, on the cloud, whatever it is, or just even an Excel sheet, which is exactly what this is. That's just data from an Excel sheet. Uh, regardless of what it is, you can quickly make calculations with DAX and Power BI, so you're just like an Excel, but better quicker, faster, and then you can replicate these templates really quickly. Thanks again for watching. I hope you found this helpful and interesting. Uh, please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. Please make sure you click that bell. The reason being is that way you get notified of all the great videos I have coming down the chain uh, on all kinds of stuff from data science, data analytics, uh, all kinds of stuff that we actually use in the real world to uh, do uh, stuff for our executives to um, to uh, uh, do all kinds of uh, graphing and uh, help them to get insights and more. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.